Welcome physics students to the video tutorial on the energy skate park. This simulation is produced by FET, which is a part of the University of Colorado. Here you see the applet is already embedded in the course within Blackboard. There are three different windows that you're going to have the option to choose from. We're going to begin on the intro page, but each of these three pages adds a different layer of functions. So in order of simple to complex, it goes left to right. Let's take a quick look at the intro page. Here you'll have your skater and you'll have a track. You have options to turn on all kinds of things over here. We'll walk through those again in a moment. There are three different tracks that you can choose from depending on what it is you're trying to investigate. We'll begin with something simple here. As you pick your skater up, drop the skater, and the skater will simply move along the track. Note that there is no friction in this particular part of the applet, although that is available in a different tab. The result is that the skater is going to keep going forever. We'll never stop, we'll never slow down, just keep going. Again, you have the option to turn on different functions here. You can change the mass of the skater, so if you want him to be him or her to be heavier, you can do that. If you want the skater to be lighter, less massive, you can do that all by using the scale bar. If you want to know what the skater's speed is, there aren't numbers, but this little gauge will give you a basic idea of how the skater's speed changes over the course of time. For some parts of this activity, it will be helpful to measure certain things. There used to be a tape measure tool as part of the applet that is no longer here, and so you'll have to use the grid to sort of estimate distances. One of the other neat features is you can take a look at the pie chart to see what type of energy the skater is experiencing or demonstrating at any given moment. It's a little bit confusing, perhaps, because the pie chart is moving with the skater here, and that might be a little bit more difficult than if they just plopped it down in a single spot, but that's okay, you'll get the hang of it. And you see the key for the different colors is right here. You could also turn on the bar graph, which is going to display the exact same information about which type of energy is being displayed at any moment, but as a bar graph over here on the side. There are a number of questions that deal with this, so feel free to use these two different functions freely. That's more or less everything for the basic intro page. The friction page is largely the same. All of the same options are given to you over here in this menu bar, except that they've added friction. So now you can increase or decrease the amount of friction that the skater is experiencing at any given moment. To make it frictionless, pull it all the way over to the left, and now it's basically just the same as the intro page we were just looking at. If you want there to be a lot of friction, just slide it over there. Again, all the same functions are present, and you can choose from several different types of tracks. So anytime you're dealing with friction, this is the tab where you probably will want to take a look. The final tab is the playground over here. This is different because the tracks are not generated for you ahead of time. You get to design your own skate track. So simply click and drag on any of these three dots to make the track whatever shape you want. You can extend the track by simply pulling up and overlapping the red dots and then dragging them around as well. If you want to make it just a little bit shorter, you can remove individual points one at a time, just like so. If you want to erase the whole thing and start from scratch, simply use the eraser button, and there it goes. Otherwise, all of the same functions are still present here. Oops. Still have the pie chart, the bar graph, the grid, the speed. You can still increase or decrease the mass and or the friction. The one function that is new here are these two buttons. 
And basically what that means is that one of these will keep the skater attached to the track, even if we kind of curve it back here. So think like a magnet. Whoops, not, not that way. There he goes. Or if you click the other button, whoops, when the skater disappears, simply double click on either of these. Here there is no magnetic force and the skater will simply slide right off just like it would be in real life. The last function for you to take a look at is one that's a little bit hidden. Whenever you need to take a screenshot of what's happening in the applet and put that into your assignment, simply come down to the menu button here and it gives you lots of different options. But Go ahead, take a screenshot. And it's a little slow to load. It's loading just outside of the video window. There we go. This is taking a simple screenshot of what you were just seeing. You can save this file, you can copy this file, you can do any number of things with it. So there you have it. Here is the entire overview of everything that's part of the Energy Skate Park. As you go through the lab, questions will not necessarily be in this order, intro, friction, playground. Many of the parts of the lab that you are about to go through will deal with the playground, but we'll kind of work our way up to that gradually. If you have any difficulties running the applet, it should work from right here in the, the page on Blackboard, but you can always go directly to FET's page for the simulation and try and download it and operate it from there. This is your basic tour of the Energy Skate Park. Please let me know if you have any questions as you continue to work through the lab.